Hello everyone, good to be with you on this second day of our consideration of Psalm 91. Yesterday we were reminded that our protection in life is provided by the Most High God, whose power is sufficient in every human weakness. And let's face it, we are at our weakest when we fear the things that have come unasked, for, unasked upon us. In verses 3 to 8 of, this, of Psalm 91, the writer uses words like foul snare, deadly pestilence, arrows flying by day, and here he's using poetic language to refer to the unexpected threats to our life that fill us with fear. And the way the coronavirus has hit, hit our world has truly filled us with fear. But I want this morning to concentrate on the nature of the protection the Most High gives us as he is with us through these unasked for threats. Not just COVID-19, but other issues like unexpected illness, a family crisis. Many of these things fill us with fear. The Lord's care for us is twofold. In verse four, he says, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you will find refuge. And here we're talking about the warm protection of a parent bird. And we love that image of the mother sensing a threat and bringing her chicks under her wings. Do you remember when Jesus was looking down over Jerusalem? And he says, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often I would have gathered your people together under my wings, but you would not. And he's saying to you this morning, whatever it is that's filling you with fear, please come back under my wings. Feel my love, my warmth and my protection. But the verse also says, his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. And here we see the unyielding strength of the Most High as he seeks to protect his people as he walks through them, as he walks with them through their unasked for threats and fears. What more could we ask for, for this faithful God to give us his strength when we feel weak and when we feel fearful? So today, as you go into your day, take these thoughts that the Most High God wants to give me the shelter, the warmth of his love as he walks with me through life's threats. And he promises that it's his strength because often we can't find our own strength. He doesn't expect us to. He wants us to lean on his strength as we walk through these situations. I want to finish with a verse from Charles Wesley's hymn, 
Jesus, lover of my soul. Let's make this a prayer. Other refuge have I none. Hangs my helpless soul on thee. Leave, I'll leave me not alone. Still support and comfort me. All my trust on thee is stayed. All my help from thee I bring. Cover my defenceless head with the shadow of thy wing. Amen.